we need to get rid of them. But we have been silent for too long. And we've allowed them to take over the White House, and take over the Senate, and take over the House of Representatives. And they're governing us without the divine influence. And it's time for us to take that back from them. May I say to you that it's important for us to recognize that our Judeo-Christian frame is absolutely necessary if our capitalist system is to work at all. Capitalism does not work without the Judeo-Christian frame. In God we trust. Capitalism without the Judeo-Christian frame produces a Bernie Madoff, who made off with a lot of money. It produces an Enron, who stole 401ks from its employees, because it didn't have the absolute unchanging truths that flow from the divine mind of God. Our conduct, our behavior as a nation within the marketplace has to have a framework through which to filter our actions. And I submit to you that's the Judeo-Christian frame. It was Benjamin Franklin says that this constitution and this republic can best work, work with a virtuous people. When he speaks of virtuous people, he's speaking of a moral people. And when you speak of morality, you're speaking of a divine perspective of life and living. You cannot separate the two. And so, we're up. We're up and we're engaged. But there's something that we need to deal with as we get ready for November the 2nd. We need to make up our minds in this auditorium today. Make up in our homes, make up in our relationships with our families, that we no longer, as American people, will be governed by the insidious idea that has muted our voice and has quieted us and pushed us to the sideline. We will no longer be governed by political correctness. We will no longer bow down and submit to PC. Rather than being PC, we need to be CC. We need to be constitutionally correct. And you gotta know, I'm a pastor. Not only am I constitutionally correct, I'm BC. I'm biblically correct. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I ain't ashamed to say it. So this is our moment. This is our moment. I thank God for Barack Insane Obama. I thank God for him because he woke us up and he galvanized us and he focused us and he has pointed us towards no further. Look out, November, here we come. Here we come, November. Here we come. Here we come. And may I say to you, November is not the end game. November is the opening game. And we who have been asleep for too long will be engaged now until we check out of here. We will stand on the wall of freedom and we will be watchmen on the wall and we will peer out into the darkness and we will watch and see if there are enemies to our freedom and when we see them, we will respond to them and when we respond to them, we will stop them and we will protect our liberties in this nation henceforth and forevermore. It's our time. It's our time. Men and women, may I say to you, 
I've come to discover something as I've gone across this country speaking at Tea Party and 912 groups all over this country. Grassroots movements that are happening. The patriots are up. You're not alone. But what I'm discovering that it is more of us than it is of them. It's more of us than it is of them. But this is our moment. The moment can't pass, and we can lose this debt. And we can lose it if we don't remain focused. We cannot retreat to the couches, nor can we become discouraged if we lose a battle. The war is not over. You keep fighting. You run to the ramparts. And as you go to the ramparts, I suggest that you take your guns with you. Let me hasten to say that your gun is the constitution of this great land. And as long as we have the constitution, listen to me, listen to me, as long as we have this constitution, we can rescue this republic. As long as that constitution is still operative and they're trying to do everything they can to step on it, to marginalize it, and to cast it aside. But we cannot let them do it. Mark Levin says this, and I'll end. He says, conservatism is the antidote to tyranny. Precisely because its principles are the founding principles. Tyranny as it is defined by our founding father is the sprawling, overarching expansion of government that intrudes in our lives, that tells us what to do and when to do, how to do and where to do what to buy and what not to buy. Men and women, we are experiencing a tyrannical move on the part of this administration. They are trying to ram down our throat a Bolsheviks definition of government. We need to get rid of these Bolsheviks. And Mark Levin, Mark Levin has given to us the prescription. Conservatism is the antidote to tyranny, precisely because its principles are the founding principles. I looked at that for a long time as I was reading his book, and I studied it, and I looked at it, and I recognized that what he was saying was that there's a desperate need, a screaming need, for Americans to return to the founding principles. We need to recast those principles back into public square. We need to make those principles our talking points. We need to teach them to our children. We need to let them know that exceptionalism is tied to those founding principles. And when we do, we will rescue this republic.